from bizarre perspectives. Okay. Very, a very common condition, unfortunately, if kids go to school and they start scratching the hair and someone sees this little blackish, whitish little thing in the back of the and they try to blow it off, it doesn't go, it's not dandruff, and the school says you've got to go see a doctor because it could be something that everybody can get. Can you allude talk about lice? All right. All right. Actually, the, the pediatricians see it. Scabies I see more than you, but pediatricians see more lice than I do because, like, it's a, you guys see it first. Uh, the treatments have evolved. The joke is it's probably going back to the original because it has to do with you can't do but it. But to know the difference, if you see something under here that you can't remove easily. Okay, two things. A, you look for something moving if you find it. A lot of times they've washed out the washed off right. the ones that are moving. So what you do is it's an, it's an egg shape that basically is sort of on the other side of the hair toward the scalp because they like heat. And it's oblong, and it tends to be whitish to sometimes slightly brown. It's hard to get off. It's hard to get off. And dandruff, you can probably blow it away. And you can't blow it away. They stick like crazy. But dandruff, you can blow away. Dandruff, you can blow away okay. on the hair shaft. So, so if you see that, what would be the best approach? The over-the-counter stuff probably works for upwards of 85% of people. So the NYX products work for 85% of people. But if they do all that... The problem is, is not that they have bugs anymore because the NYX is probably effective in killing at 85-90%. The problem is, is that you have the itching that doesn't go away. And the reason for the itching is, is the bugs aren't there anymore, but you've got persistent itching because you've got an inflammatory reaction that's secondary. So it's step one, kill the bug. Step two, get rid of the egg. And step three, calm down the inflammation. That's the How would you do that? Getting rid of the bug, you could use the over-the-counter stuff. You could use NYX. If, you're not going, if NYX is not an option or it doesn't work, then you're looking at permethrin. Okay, or you're going back to well. If all that is done and it keeps coming back, then you're going to some really really messy stuff. You're looking at like sulfur and Vaseline type, and it's a real mess because you got to leave it on like for 12 hours and try and suffocate the lice. Is there any merit of shaving the head? Something? No, because there are pills you could take if you had to, and it's not mainstream use and it's not officially approved for it. But any ectoparasite or lice, scabies, etc., will respond to ivermectin. Now, I and, and they don't look if you're rich or poor. Is that true? Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Although probably it's more Caucasian than black. But they they don't care. They don't care. But it's okay. more Caucasian. They like Caucasian. They don't look at your checking account. So rich it, people get it. Yeah. It doesn't mean they're filthy. No, it doesn't mean it's just the kids picked it up because it's basically kindergarten for a second grade. The kids are really close contact. And this is there anything about this resistant type? Yeah, in other words, even quell probably has upwards of a 2 to 3 percent resistance rate. Is there any merit of doing uh, washing the hair with a Seborrhea type of shampoo? No, uh, alcohol works reasonably well to loosen the eggs. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, vinegar. Vinegar works reasonably well to loosen the eggs. You use a fine comb and work your heart? Yeah, I think you actually, honestly, I, I've done this because I had personal experience with this, but it was like 20 years ago. I actually just sat there, told, pulled the individual hairs and stuck right. them out because, like, it, they don't come off that well. It's very they, tough. They, I don't know if it's still around. There was Ovide, which was a product. Then there's Hair 123, which is an herbal product that's supposed to loosen the hairs. And then I'm a big fan, not cutting the hair off, but, like, get out, anything off you can naturally or medicine in terms of loosening the eggs. And then sit there and just, you know, it's going to take you an hour or two, but like just pull out the individual hairs and snip those hairs right below the egg. It's a very tough thing to get rid of sometimes. Yeah, they, they stick. But it's no one's fault. It's no one's fault. And washing it ten times with the standard shampoo, you know, even a, a medicated shampoo is going to do silch. So in other words, you work hard trying to remove the individual... Kill the bugs, take individual eggs, chemically first, mechanically second, and then if this kid's still itching, then you've got to treat him medically as if he has eczema on the scalp. And there are some things you can do with that would go to a dermatologist that yeah. conventionally can't. Yeah, so you there can is use, hope. Yeah, you can use an internal drug, you can use a topical drug. If it's an older kid, you can inject some medicine. I'm not a big fan of sticking needles in kids if you've got to do more than one needle at a time because the kid will never want to talk to you ever again. That's like when I see kids with alopecia areata, which is an allergic hair loss pattern, I tried very hard not to inject little kids because the kid's not going to want to go near me after the first visit. So I try anything topical I can. But eventually, if you have it, it will get it'll get control. Yeah, I mean, like it's it, there's it's you know, and if you're really really stuck in a worst case scenario, if you had to, 
you could use basically the CDC drug, although it's off-label use. You could use ivermectin orally. So for resistant cases of scabies, I use ivermectin now. Thank you very much.